through the ruins. A marrow maiden, not a murder maiden. A marrow maiden. Oh, so is this where mermaids and mermen get their their name? Y'all get up out of my grill. I got gold coins to collect. Yeah. Oh, and it looks like the light actually causes those bad boys to get on. Wait, what is this? Ooh, 100. Okay, so I got 150 coins now. That's enough to go upgrade the propeller. Does she want to be Scottish or American? I thought it was Irish. That's hilarious to me that <laughs> you and Brad were both like, she doesn't have much of an accent. Well, you were like, oh, she needs to get rid of, she needs to get rid, decide on an accent. And, uh, uh, well, that bomb ended up being kind of underwhelming, didn't it? You're like, oh, she needs to decide which one she's going to be. I'm not, uh, I'm of Irish descent. Meryn tried to speak to her, but the marrow raced away. Doesn't look like she raced for... Oh, never mind. There she goes. Hint of an accent like she's trying to hide it. Huh. I hadn't even considered that. Okay, that's kind of a neat mechanic. Yeah, get up off my grills, dogs. I'm a little girl. I'm a little girl in a homemade submarine. Can you tell my submarine's homemade? It's definitely got that uh, cobbled together sort of feel to it. Wait a minute. Looks like I passed a treasure up down here. I'm, I'm not one to pass up treasure. Oh, there it is. Okay, well, let's see what we can put in his gobbit. Well, hmm. I don't know what to feed him. Feed me, Seymour! I wonder if he'll eat a seashell. He sells seashells under the ocean floor. Will that do it? Nope. <laughs> he sped it back out at me with, uh, with extreme prejudice. What do we got here? That's something new. Alright, let's see if whatever this item is here, this, this green item... It would make sense to me that a green item makes a green uh, shell. Oh, nope, he spit that out too. I don't know what these green guys want. What am I busting up here? I don't know, but it's giving me coins. I'm okay with that. Coins are good. Coins how I get beefed up. I'm gonna get swole. Swole under the sea. Will he eat a green one of those? Yes, he will. Boom. 50 more. 50 points to Gryffindor. Alright, we gotta work our way down through here. Oh, check out the wells in the background. I just noticed that. That's cool. A glowing swirl in the water tugged at Merrin's sob. Was this a Tyne vortex? Where might it lead? Is that saying that I should go in the Tyne vortex? What about the space-time continuum? <laughs> I'm on a roll. Or might you say At last, the Merrow Maiden stopped. Merrin called to her. Please wait. 
I'm only trying to find my father. The Marrow looked at her for a long moment, then stirred the water with her hands, forming a ghostly image. It was the sunken ship graveyard known as Skeleton Reef. Could her father be trapped there? The Marrow pointed the way to go, and Merrin thanked her. So I think uh, we just figured out where we gotta go now. Before she turned to go, Merrin asked the Marrow her name. Call me Car, she said. Whoa. Another girl once called me that, years ago. She said it means friend. Alright, so... Kara means friend, apparently. Alright, let's kind of zip around here, do, do some exploration. What is that? Is the razor-quilled pufferfish? pufferfish was not a direct threat, but it steadfastly refused to move out of the way. Well, that's not gonna fly. Hmm. Shoot. I wanna get under there. I wanna get by that critter. Maybe one of these days I'll be big and strong. Let's see what the warp does. The marrow ruins. It's not like. Oh, oh, okay. I guess it's saying. I can activate warps later on that will bring me back here. Okay. I get what it's doing now. And I think I saw... I'm making sure Bowser... I heard Bowser licking. I'm making sure he wasn't licking his, uh, his wound that he had from surgery today. The vet said if he's licking the wound, of course, I've got to go get a... Uh, a cone of shame for him. But he's not. He's good. Okay, so... Claw extension. Increase the claw's attack range by infusing additional time energy to its tether. Magnetic collector extends the range which collect collectible objects are magnetically pulled to the ship. Okay, so I don't have enough for any of that. I can get the claw extension or a boost turbine. And I'm willing to bet that it's wanting me to go least expensive to most expensive. So I could go ahead and get the boost turbine. Which I think I will do. And so the next upgrade will be the claw extension. Kind of trying to test out my running legs here. Say, you better let me get into that face. I just saw a narwhal in the background. Narwhals, they are narwhals. Yep, there it is. See it again? Give me all of your treasure, good sir. Wait, this is. That's actually a treasure chest. Can I pull the lid off of it? Yes, I can. Each hull fragment increases your maximum health. Okay, so that's kind of like Mary a... Mary uh... picked up a fragment of a Fomori Sentinel's hull. She hammered it into the wall of her own submarine, making it more resistant to damage. And I just noticed this. Let's see. Oh, it won't let me use the mouse to point it out. So if you look down at the bottom left of the screen... My health meter rose just slightly there when I did that. Oh, there's more treasure down there. How am I supposed to get down there to that? I don't know. I don't I don't know. I've got an enhanced pusher. Let's do this. Oh, there are hooks onto the things here. Yeah, you'll not push me for the strong current. I'm a strong-willed little girl, and I'll... I'll get this done by George. By the power of George Costanza.
can't quite make it up there. It's incredibly frustrating. So maybe I do need the uh, the extension as well. There we go. I'm gonna try to get every dad burn coin. No, you're right, you weren't the only one. So far batting a thousand people that think her accent doesn't belong. You're right though, Muse. I really do like the uh, the aesthetic of the game so far. It's kind of mellow with a hint of danger. Alright, I don't have the ability to bust through that yet, I don't think. I wonder if I can... Like, if I were to sprint through there? Nope. Okay. had it like I had the run and go didn't quite get it there I'm trying to beat the tide All right, let's wait till this next set of, this next tide passes all right let's do this You ever get frustrated as a like imagine what fighting the tide as a as a creature of the ocean must be like Like there's no shelter from the from the current there All right, we're going to have to come back later. Her little homemade sub can sure take a beating, though. Alright, so we need to go up. Either up there. Or way the smash over here. Okay. In that case, let's go down. <laughs> I've never been good at following directions in video games the first time. I don't know how you're supposed to get through there. That's... Part of my beef with that. Are we going to Atlantis? Is Atlantis in Ireland? I guess Merfolk are kind of an Irish. What was that? I guess I'm gonna have to activate some sort of special signal to get in. Okay. So it appears that we are finally on the ocean floor. Now the at least. seahorse was poking at a glass wall. Such a strange creature, Marin thought. She wished she could understand what it wanted. I can't bump it. Can I shoot it? Can I... If it's made of glass, it ought to break with a few hits. Doesn't appear to be the case right yet, though. Alright, so I don't guess we've got a choice at this point. We've either got to go up or left. Not that one, okay. We're at 144 coins. Why do I want to... To reach I... the lost graveyard of ships, 
Merrin would have to cross the foul and treacherous region known as Watcher's Hollow. This was a place her father had never sung about, for the tales of the Watcher were known only to those below. I feel legitimately creeped out right now. Like, why are there spider webs deep on the ocean floor? This feels wrong. There has to be, like, Marin has to be able to get out of her ship eventually, right? Like, get a scuba suit or something? Scuba Steve, dang you! I'm Scuba Sam! Scuba Steve's dad! Steve's gotta take a bath! Oh my goodness, all these creepy little tendrils. There we go. A few little goodies here and there. How in the world are you supposed to get through there? Shining a light on them doesn't do anything. Oh, that is really creepy looking. Glowing cuttle pups swam through the dark caverns, heedless of their deadly surroundings. Maybe Puddle they pups. were tougher than they looked. Even the stinging in enemies seemed to avoid them. Even the stinging in anemone, anemones. What is this guy? We're just a tiny little creature out here, aren't we? See, like, she's got to be able to get out of her, you know, like, put on a, a scuba tank suit or something. Oh, I'm going to have to follow that. Interesting. Whatever that critter is can make it through the dark, through the anemone, no problem. So, what is the deal with that? It's got a chain on it. Oh. Can we, like, ram this thing and knock it down? Nope. We're going to have to do something to that effect, though, to be able to knock it down and crush the, uh, the box below it. Okay, we're getting into all kinds of treasures now. There's a, there was a, an emerald over there. Very bad, very bad. If I get hit again, I'm toast. So we're going to have to pull the chain and then get through there is what it looks like. Alright. Come on, sea slug. That's what that thing looks like to me. It's got to be a sea slug or something. Little sea slugger. to be faster about it. I'm going to have to wait on the next one to come around now, too. At some point, the claw is probably going to have to be able to damage that stuff or something a bit more severe. just underneath there. 
Oh yeah.